Yes, yes, this is 3CP, and welcome to NFL Recap Week 4, and we've had some real interesting things develop with this week. Uh, let me stop this before they copyright my ass. Um, so, this started, off, this started off Jaguars and the Bengals. Yes, this was, um, I thought Trevor Lawrence was going to get his first win, but Joe Burrow and the Bengals pulled it out. And uh, this is, I think, Trevor Lawrence looked better. Than he did, and uh, the, the in his previous games, but the whole talk is Urban Meyer not leaving. Urban Meyer pretty much not not staying with the team and riding on the plane with the team. He was out of the club, feeling getting chicks. I mean, hey, the man's all like, hey, if the dude want to get some young college girls, let him get it. But I think yeah, he 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 was he he's probably like man, he's probably kind of out on this. He don't really care. I mean, I thought, remember I said, I did I tell y'all, I said, I thought Trevor Lawrence was the type of dude, like, he didn't even care. Like, I would think Trevor Lawrence would be the guy who would be staying in town, staying in Florida and having a night out. But the coach? Okay. Well, yeah, I, th I think Urban Meyer's not going to, I think Urban Meyer won't last a year. Trevor Lawrence might not be a, he might end up not being the Jaguars' future, but he might be good somewhere else. But, uh. The Jags just suck. I guess this, they just suck like the Jets. But going on to the Jets, the Jets and the Titans. I said the Jets suck, but Zach Wilson looked the best he's been. He looked better than he's ever been these last three games. So, And they got the win over the Titans. Derrick Henry was still Derrick Henry, but Tannehill and Julio. I really, what the hell is Julio? I don't hear nothing about I I have not even seen a highlight of Julio doing anything. What number is he? What I just haven't seen. What is Julio doing? But, um. The Titans shouldn't. You shouldn't lose the Jets. This is not what you're supposed to do. You can't. I can't take this, take the Titans serious right now because they lost to the Jets. But they are still the team. I, I'm rocking with them in Madden until I lose. Chiefs and the Eagles. Um, what do you expect? The Eagles are not going to be doing anything. But I was surprised they got 30 points. But not surprised because we know the Chiefs defense is not great. Uh, but we know Pat Mahomes is going to put up touchdowns. So I mean, it was nothing really to write off. We, they, this is what the Chiefs are supposed to do. Good. I'm glad they did because I didn't want to see them drop the 0-1-3. Uh, that's my Super Bowl pick still. So, um, yeah. Panthers and Cowboys. Yes, my Cowboys really looked pretty. They looked good. 3-1. And, and they, I mean, of course, a lot of people like Shannon say, well, this team wasn't that good because they don't have Ed McCaffrey. But, hey, they still did what they got to do. Dak is looking good, man. Dak is having a good season. He's making good decisions. Zeke had the best game of his career or of since, like, what 2016 Zeke? One of the he's had his best game in a few, in a few. So, hey, that's just what it is. And then the schedule gets easier, man. I told y'all, I said 12 and five Cowboys. I said we're gonna probably lose to the uh, the next game. I think we're gonna lose is like the Chiefs, if that's my mistake. And I think the Chiefs. I said they're gonna beat the Panthers. I told y'all. I'm telling y'all this right now, and I was right. So we go to the Giants and the Saints. I can't believe the Saints let the Giants come back and win. They uh went into overtime. Uh, Saquon Barkley looked good. Danny Dimes was throwing dimes, throwing dots. But we know they're going into Dallas next week, and I don't expect that type of game from the, the from the Giants next week. They're still Giants are still bad. Um, James Winston, uh, this James Winston thing, they don't like somebody. Uh, G Maya said this in his podcast. Like they really don't have an identity. A quarterback like they used to have with Drew Brees and everything. So I, I still think Taysom Hill's gonna see some time. Give me the middle of the season. I think Taysom Hill's gonna see more more starts. The start and he's gonna see more time. I think James is gonna start throwing a lot of picks. I just believe that. And give you, I say about week eight, week nine, uh, Taysom Hill's gonna start starting. Browns and the Vikings. The Browns really should have lost this game, uh, but the Browns came away with it. And Baker Mayfield isn't he's, he isn't doing as good as he was last year. They do got Odell back and everything, uh, but I don't see the Browns making any noise in the playoffs. I see them being a good defense. I mean, I still think I think they will make the playoffs, but I don't think they're going to beat the uh, – I think they might come in a wild card because I believe the Ravens are going to win that division. Um, Kirk Cousins is one of those guys. He's like, you can I, I keep saying Kirk Cousins is bad and he's good. He's, he's been like this since the Redskins or uh, the football team. Of course. He's been he'll, – he'll have a good game, then they'll come back and have a bad game. He'll have a good game, but you just never know with this guy. But I still believe this is not going to be – I think they're not going to move forward with him after this year if they don't do anything with him. 
Lions and the Bears. Oh, it hates to be a Lions fan. The Lions just can't catch a break. They lose to the Bears. Justin Smith, I mean, Justin Fields gets the start. I think I told you I said this before. I know Andy Dalton is not going to uh, get that start. Andy Dalton is not coming back to get the start. I believe it's Justin Fields' job to lose now. So we'll see what happens. But the Bears, don't, don't, I don't expect them to do nothing. I said, what, 10 and 6 in my prediction? I say that. That's what I still believe. Bills and the Titans. Texans. What do? How do you get beat 40 to 0? You're an NFL team. Who's even? I don't even know who the Texans quarterback is. Um, they're just a mess of a team. Uh, Deshaun Watson really screwed these guys over. Trying to get just done. Come on, dude. Stay out them DMs. You could have got a massage anywhere. And just, just stay out. Just stop kind of, Come on now. I hope you know you got some. You can get women anywhere, dude. You ain't got to be in DMs like that. Just, the Texans just uh, 40 to 0. This is terrible. Let's go on with the Colts and the Dolphins. The Dolphins really need two back. Jacoby Brissett is not good right now. Um, the Colts do get a win. This is what they needed because Carson Wentz was probably looking like he's going to just be one of those the same courts from last year. Still, I don't believe any of these two teams, they pretty much, I don't see these two making any noise in the playoffs or making any runs. So I don't think the Colts or the Dolphins do anything. Uh, Washington and the Falcons. The Falcons always find a way to blow the game. And once again, they did it again. This is nothing. Matt Ryan has to go, I believe. I think it's just, it's got to be time. Like you can't you can't keep going with Matt Ryan. You got to get into the get into the draft and get a quarterback because Matt Ryan is not the answer. They did have a chance to go for Trey Lance, I believe, if I was mistaken, that was when they picked. But they chose Kyle Pitts. But I mean, if you got a quarterback, you can't throw the ball to him. What you, I mean, what it is? It uh, Washington, their guy Taylor Heineke. You know he, he's he's up and down. He's, he he looks like a good like he could be a fit for the team, but I don't think he's gonna be that. But he does. Uh, Terry McLaurin gave me some great fantasy points. I know that him and Gibson, so I was happy about that. But I don't think the Washington football team is gonna do anything. Cause the defense is still kind of suspect right now, and that's what it is. Forty Nine ers and the Seahawks. Wow, did you see Russell Wilson making the Russell Wilson makes some of the most miraculous plays. I've ever seen. He makes a play like you would see a dude. This play, he just ran around and threw a touchdown. He does. He's done that before, like lots of times. And that's some stuff you see in Madden. Literally, that pisses you off. A guy run backwards, run around, and then throw the ball and make a completion or a touchdown. That's what Russell Wilson does. Literally, what stuff in game in football games. Trey Lance did get the time here because um, Jimmy Garoppolo got hurt, which is why I always say he's gonna get hurt. I I thought I said this before. I knew uh, Jimmy's going to start. He's going to get hurt, and Trey Lance is going to take over. Uh, we'll see what that happens. I think they're a better team offensively because Kyle Shanahan can do more with Trey Lance than he can with Jimmy Garoppolo like he did with RG3. But if they just, as long as he doesn't really just ruin him like they ruined RG3, uh, I think they'd be all right. Uh, Cardinals and the Rams. Wow. The Rams looked like they was a Super Bowl contender team to the, face the Cardinals. The Cardinals might be the – Cardinals and Cowboys NFC Championship game. Can I, I, I know it's early, but we can see it. Uh, Kyler Murray is just killing it, man. He's got good receivers. A.J. Green, Hopkins, man. He's got, you can't give this guy this many weapons. And what have happened to, I didn't know why, I did not even know Larry Fitzgerald uh, retired or whatever. Is he, is he refreezing? But I just heard he just quietly just was off the team. Like, where the hell did he go? But, um. I, the Cardinals are a really good team. We're going to see what happens because they got to play the Cowboys at one point in the season, too. So I think I gave the win to the Cowboys at that game. So I don't know. Let's see what happens. Uh, Steelers and the Packers. Big Ben Roethlisberger. Just, dude, just take your team. Turn, turn in your uh, your team jersey. You suck, man. Ben Roethlisberger, I don't know what he's doing out there. He's just doing whatever he wants to do out there. He's just out there just getting the, collecting a check right now. Um, there was nothing. I, I said they weren't gonna beat the Packers, and I knew it. And Aaron Rodgers is gonna just, just head his way. Um, there's nothing. These the Steelers really just are not great right now. I know they lost a lot of injuries, but they still got got a quarterback. Ben is him. He didn't work. He didn't really live out his welcome there. And I think it's time for him to go. I think they need to go and look elsewhere in the for a quarterback. Ravens and the Broncos. My guy, Lamar Jackson, my fantasy quarterback, he never lets me down. 
the Broncos. I don't know how the hell is the Broncos three and one. How was how were they even three and zero? Oh? oh, I don't know the Broncos, but they had some bad. They played with the Jets and some Lions and stuff. But they do have a quarterback got hurt, and you see they're doing seven points. I think the the Broncos are going to start. They're probably going to uh, end up getting like an eight and eight season. I don't, you know, the three and one, three and zero start. I I wasn't so surprised because they was playing bad teams. Um, Lamar Jackson was throwing the ball better too, and that's a, another one. That's a good um uh, good sign. As I told him, I said that I won't. I think the uh, Cleveland will not beat the Ravens for the division. That's why I give to the for the Ravens. Uh, Buccaneers, Patriots. Tom Brady gets bailed out again by a field goal kicker. Um, Nick Folk. Oh my God! I can't wait to chisel have done his, uh, his commentary for Nick Folk. He missed a field goal. The team he missed missed the field goal with before he tries to beat the team and he misses again. Wow! And Brady didn't throw no touchdown. Brady really didn't look that good. I know it was the rain and everything, but Belichick showed that he he. he had a plan to uh to get him to stop him and um uh, it just mattered to a field goal. Really he could have lost this game. I don't think the Buccaneers playing like this are no Super Bowl repeaters. Uh I don't even see them going through I don't see them repeating nothing. I don't think they can beat the Cardinals, to tell you the truth. But uh we move on. Raiders oh it was cool to see Brady and Belichick their little fake hug, you know, he gave out like, they said they talked after the game for like twenty minutes. Like literally, that's when you know you like the, like you know you got pool when you gotta sit there and wait twenty minutes because I'm pretty sure everybody's ready to go. These niggas got a damn time. They gotta take the talk to, to the damn coach for twenty minutes. Well, anyway, Raiders and Chargers. I said the Raiders were gonna not don't believe in the Raiders, and I said this, and Derek Carr is gonna start showing who he is, and he showed it this way. He showed it tonight or last night. Uh, the Chargers. Came back, Justin Herbert. He's he's looking really good. He came to the Cowboys, and the Cowboys held him down. So you can tell the Cowboys should be a legit team because the Chargers they 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 played the Raiders and gave them a game here. And I don't even believe that the Raiders are as good as they say. I, I've said I don't think as good as they are, but we'll see. One of these two teams are going to they. One of these two teams could make the playoffs. But one of them are going to uh, fall off the planet off. They're going to fall off and just go like 8-8, eight 8-9 eight, eight or something. But which one right now looking like the Chargers are going to be the one that makes the playoffs and the Raiders might be the one that fall off because you can't trust Derek Carr. But we'll see, man. How did y'all season go? Did your team win? Did everything happen that you wanted to happen? That's what it is, man. We'll get for next week, and we out of here.